Okay, so I have spoken before um, about the creation of strategic frameworks and the importance of bringing those to life. Today I'm going to very much assume that strategy and having strategic intent in your firm is very much a given. Um, I mean, having a strategic focus, you could argue, is critical to continuing business success. And boy, are we grappling with many factors at the moment at a macro level. There is so much going on. Um, but at that practical level, I think there, I found that there are three things that I'm particularly focusing on at the moment when we're rebooting our strategy. And that is very much about learning from the past, being agile, and very aligned with Andrew around keeping it simple. So taking each of those in turn, learning from the past. Well, while today's world is very different from yesterday's, last year, a decade ago, many of the issues businesses grapple with and that we're grappling with keep resurfacing. We're hearing constantly productivity, profitability, service levels, market differentiating, culture and happy people, to name a few. There's much that we can learn from what's worked well in the past and what hasn't. And these past experiences can sometimes constrain us so joining with us and Rogers, as I have in the last few years, I, I'm hearing and grappling with, well, we've tried that in the past, or we, we've, 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 we've done that, or that's been considered previously. Um, there are two important words to focus on here, tried and past. Um, the here and now could be significantly different, and the people that are available to help have likely also changed. So I think really it's about not being constrained by your own story, the story of the business, and the story of others. And we all have our own experiences that, that can add value um, and, and can help us grapple with things slightly differently. Um, so make sure you take a step back and look for intended and unintended consequences and look for balance when, when making that decision. Number two, being agile and changing course if needs be. Um, when I talk about strategy, I talk about um, the strategy being a, a course that you plot on a journey. Um, and, and when you plot that course, if you're in a boat and you're, you're heading from one destination to the other, that might need to change depending on the factors outside of our control, such as weather or sick crew members. In business, micro and macro factors can mean that we have to suddenly prioritise new things. And it's important to be alert to these factors and the changing dynamics to make sure you're not rigid in your response. One way to keep agile is to, run, to surround yourself with new ideas. So I have a question for you all to just quickly think in your mind. When you're in need of advice, when you're not sure what to do, who do you turn to? If your answer is the same in each scenario, or is a number of highly trusted, confident people who are well known to you, perhaps it's time to broaden your support network. Turning to like-minded people, typically these are people we gravitate to because we have more in common in terms of our thinking, can limit our thinking. It can lead to group think or reinforcement on similar ideas. So casting your net wider can create different thinking and different solutions. And finally, keeping it simple. Um, so my experience has been um, the more simple a strategy, the more successful. I'm a big fan of using acronyms um, to help bring about recollection of business strategies across the whole firm. So BDO, the acronym I brought in was BUILD for brand, unifying culture, international leading markets and digital mindsets. And at Withers and Rogers, we refer to growth, which is great people, reward and recognition, operational excellence, and winning worldwide. So each of that, that under grow actually links to the four Ps of people, profit, processes, and prospects. But what matters is that people know what the strategy is, what part they play in it, and why it matters. So the creation of a strategy in many respects I think it's the easy part, it's actually bringing it to life that's really hard, but so important and rewarding. Um, after achieving this successfully at BDR, I'm now on the journey to achieve this at Rivers and Rogers, but it takes time. And whilst GROW is our anchor, the strategic priorities must flex and change to the external and internal needs of the business. So we have a robust process to identify these priorities, and that's important. We do that through leadership meetings, through engagement and through challenging each other. But most importantly, we do it through listening and having an open mindset. So keeping strategy simple helps this process and it provides a roadmap for change. It helps ensure that emerging strategies are aligned to the overall strategy of the firm. So I appreciate that nothing I've said today is new to you all. 
However, hopefully it's a helpful reminder to make time to think through your strategic priorities, be open to new ideas and take people with you. Keep it simple, keep it agile, 